I think that today is like the most beautiful day we had in this like entire year. Like the sun is shining, there are clouds, you know, and like I I have window open and I'm sitting in my t-shirt and it, it's basically warm right now. Like that's not the topic of the video. I'm not here to <laughs> talk about the weather. Like you probably read the title before clicking on this video, probably. And I was playing Scrabble with my mom like a week ago or something with my mom, with my grandma, my brothers and we were playing Scrabble we were playing Scrabble and if you don't know what that is I'm not gonna explain it to you because <laughs> I don't get it either like it's fairly easy but like some people are just like very well rounded when it comes to like setting words on on the table other players have to put their words on the table and like my mom's always thinking like, oh, maybe I should do this, I should do that. And I told her like, mom, like, wait for other players to put their words and then think about your move. Because like, the premise of it is like, you have to, like in dominoes, like put the words with, with combining with other words, right? My mom then thought like, yeah, you're right. And we, because I was like playing with her, because like <laughs> there were not enough like these benches for words. I'm gonna put a picture here. And we were like waiting for other players to set words and I was like, hmm, okay, now it's our move. So now I'm gonna think what to put. And basically <laughs> we nearly won this game and I was doing a lot. <laughs> like. This tactic is the best when it comes to like Scrabble, in my opinion. But other players have other tactics. But whatever, it's not about Scrabble, it's about crossing the bridges. And it's like... <laughs> I'm sorry if it's like twist my twisted way of saying it all, but like... <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Um, and, and like... Crossing the bridge, once you get there... It's like... My personal life principle, because I... Because I'm not like usually overthinking a lot. I mean, <laughs> you know, la late night in the bed or something. That that's usual, right? But like, when it comes to doing stuff, it's like not only just go and do it, but do it when the time comes. Like when you have an exam, don't overthink. Like, oh, what if I don't pass? What if I pass? But what if I don't? But what what if I do? Like. You're thinking whether you're gonna pass the exam or not like think whether you passed or not when you actually get the score like when the score is positive then yeah you passed and that's it that's basically it like you don't have to do any anything more because because you passed you don't have to think whether what you're gonna do uh, if you don't pass you know you, you you don't have to think about any of this and it same comes to the saying of uh, Kanye West on the awards, like some people ask me uh, what would I do if I didn't win? I guess we never know. Because like, we will actually never know. Because he won. So why bother? Why bother thinking like, oh, what, what, what would he do? He, he'd probably be mad. He won. Right? So, you thinking about like, oh, I'm not gonna pass, I'm not gonna pass, uh, before even writing the exam. It's like, <laughs> you're, you're not only setting yourself in belief that you're gonna fail, which is like very powerful, because like if you set belief that you're gonna fail before even doing that thing, it's like, <laughs> you're setting yourself for fail. Because like, if I say to myself, oh, I'm never gonna get jacked, <laughs> Why should I even bother going to gym, right? Because I'm never gonna get jacked. I don't fucking know. Maybe in fucking 10 years or something. I don't know. But once I get there, like in 10 years period, and I still won't be jacked, it's like, okay, let me just give me <laughs> next 10 years. Like I, ha I have entire lifetime to do so. And I have entire lifetime to cross these bridges. Like, not overthinking like, oh, 
I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, but what if I don't do that and th then I don't know, <laughs> if I don't eat for one day, then my entire p gym progress is gonna be lost. Like, not only that, that's not how it works, but like, thinking that way is only going to ruin me and ruin you if you, if you like, thinking that way. Because you're like, in this analogy of crossing the bridge, it's like, you... You are basically sitting at home, right? And thinking like, okay, uh, there is this bridge, like, fig figure of speech bridge, not like, like your spiritual bridge, right? Like you have the path of, I don't know, to make an analog analogy. Like you have a path full of fucking frogs or something on the way to your gym. <laughs> and like, You've, you're sitting in home and thinking like, oh, what if a frog jumps into my shoe? What if a frog jumps on my face and I'm gonna fucking, I don't know, scream or something? Like, thinking about that shit, it's like, you're still at home. It didn't ever happen. And you go there and not only all the frogs are asleep or something, like, nothing happened. And you spend like hour over thinking whether it's worth going to the gym because of this the, of this frog path. Like once you actually cross the path, think about like, like <laughs> dodging these frogs or something. It's like, in my opinion, the best principle in life because it eliminates like all the overthinking you you will ever do.